Apples you usually grab in the supermarket seem super fresh, but they can be up to a year old. It's all about how they're stored. First, they're covered with wax. Next, the wax is dried with hot air. And finally, the apples go into cold storage. Sloths are better at breath-holding than dolphins. Those lazy buddies can slow their heart rate and hold their breath this way for up to 40 minutes. If they watched any breathtaking series, they'd literally breathe once per episode. If you look at any old photograph, you'll see that people didn't have those big smiles we love to have in the photos today. First, photographers preferred to keep things serious. So instead of cheese, people would say prunes to keep their lips tight, and other things. Earth is not the only planet with water. Scientists from NASA strongly believe one of Jupiter's moons, Europa, has an ocean with twice as much water as we have on our planet. It's hidden under a thick layer of ice. Even Mars has some liquid water flowing. Cicadas are some of the biggest flying insects you can find out there. Most species are not that impressive, only about 1 to 2 inches long. Only. But the largest one, known as the Empress Cicada, has a body length of about 3 inches. In comparison, its wingspan reaches a whopping 8 inches. That's a really big bug. Not all goats peacefully munch on meadow grass. Some of them prefer climbing trees for food. Meet Moroccan goats, a natural phenomenon unique to North Africa. The thing is, they're way more attracted to argan tree fruits than to regular grass. That's quite understandable. Those fruits look just like golden apples. These goats are quite agile, so they easily climb up the trees to get the juicy treats. And they rarely need help from their nanny. There's a creature that can technically live forever. You see, there's a species of jellyfish known as Tursepera dorida, or however you pronounce their name on the screen. Well, those guys have a superpower of respawning. So whenever they get any sort of physical damage or something, those jellyfish reset themselves back to the polyp stage and start all over again. Now, let's test you. Are there more trees on Earth or stars in the Milky Way? If your answer is stars, sorry, you're wrong. According to scientists' estimations, there are up to 100 billion stars in our galaxy and about 3 trillion trees on Earth. Now, that's impressive. Why do you think right and left matter when it comes to headphones? The sound moves really slowly. The echo is a good example. Try to shout at a distant building to hear your voice bouncing back at you with a slight delay. The sounds move slowly enough so the brain can detect time differences between the sound that arrives at your right and left ear. Even if the difference is minimal, like 10 microseconds. This is something we know as the interaural time difference. If your friend speaks on your right, your brain knows the sound is coming from that side because it takes a little bit longer for the same sound to get to your left ear. Because of this, stereo music gives the illusion the sound comes from different directions, and headphones boost that illusion as they bring the music directly to your ears. If your earphones are reversed, sounds from the front will sound like they're coming from the back, and vice versa. You won't see a big difference with mono audio, but with backward stereo sound, Watching movies will certainly be a bit disconcerting. Have you ever wondered how wireless charging works? Electrons are pretty clever. If you push them along a wire, you get electricity. Coiling that wire gets you a magnetic field, which is the reason why electric motors have their push. Power is induced in the second coil when you place the coil close to another with a shared iron core to direct the magnetism. And this is how transformers change voltages. Suppose you pulse electrons through the coil and place the other coil a bit away. In that case, you can put the emitter in a charging pad, whereas the receiving antenna is in a phone. Not just your phone needs to be within range for this to work. There's a spot where you can take a dive between two continents. It's Silfra, near Iceland, a crack formed between two continents because two tectonic plates constantly pull apart. It's a geological wonder and a popular spot many adventure seekers put on their bucket lists. In some spots, the space is so narrow you can touch Europe and North America at once. Giraffes don't actually sleep only half an hour. It's just a myth many people still believe. In reality, they spend around 4.5 hours sleeping. And that's not unusual for most of the active animals during daylight. And giraffes mainly lay down to sleep for shorter periods of time. 
about 11 minutes at a time. How come leftover pizza has such a good taste? Just a single night in the fridge gives the pizza some satisfying flavor. It keeps the structure when it's not hot anymore. The tomato layer doesn't allow fat in the cheese topping to seep through the dough base, and the temperature of the food we eat also affects our taste perception. Cold food has less intense flavors in general. We have heat-sensitive channels in our bitter and sweet taste receptors. And if the temperature is between 60 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, they open wide, which sets off a chain reaction and sends strong signals to our brain. And if the temperatures are lower, these channels will barely open, which means signals will also weaken. The temperature doesn't affect sour and salty taste receptors, so cold pizza can seem saltier and tastier. One more for foodies. Did you know a couple of studies have confirmed triangular sandwiches taste better than those with a rectangular shape? It looks like triangles give us more sandwich filling per single bite. A triangular sandwich has two 45-degree corners. This way, you can bite further towards the middle in just two bites. And the center often contains more filling. And right after that, there's an ideal, crustless third bite since you cover the space left in the middle. This one's got me hungry. Shoes designed back in the late 14th and early 15th centuries could be up to two feet long. People used to wear pointed shoes, especially in the 12th century. And a couple of centuries later, they remained popular, but eventually became longer. Manufacturers filled the toes of these shoes with hair, moss, wool, or even grass. A narwhal tusk is not a tusk, but an inside-out tooth. These creatures are in the category of whales, and unlike most other whales, they have a large tusk, or better yet, a tooth. Kind of like some sort of skin, because it has so many sensory nerve endings. Wind on Mars is audible, which means you can hear it. With sensors on the NASA InSight lander on the Martian surface, researchers got their first recorded sounds of winds on Mars through vibrations. But even though the sound of Martian winds is at a decibel level within human range, you still need the help of some bass-heavy headphones for this. The world record for the longest breath someone held underwater is about 24 minutes. Without training, an average human could probably stay around 90 seconds underwater before going out to take a breath. But in 2016, a professional freediver, Alex Segura Vendro, managed to set the insane record for breath holding. Did you know butterflies don't taste their food the way we do, but with their feet? When a butterfly comes to a plant where they want to eat, they use the sensors on their feet to tell if the plant they're standing on is edible. And the receptors they have on their legs are 200 times stronger than our taste buds. A similar way we use fingerprints, you can identify lions through their whisker patterns. Each of us has unique fingerprints. In the same way, lions have a whisker pattern that is unique to their nose. If you're unsure if the eggs in your fridge are old or fresh, just fill a bowl with water and place them inside. If they float, they're old. And if they sink, it means you have fresh eggs, so you're good to go. Although many people still believe it, when you touch a butterfly's wing, the animal won't lose its ability to fly. Not that you should try to do it, but even if you accidentally do, a butterfly will still be fine. There are scales on their wings. If you touch them, some of them could shed off. But that's what happens naturally too, not just when they scratch something with their wings. It can help them in difficult situations, for example, when trying to escape from spider webs. Two parts of the human body don't have blood vessels, cartilage and the cornea. And the cornea covers the pupil and some other parts of your eye. How come our skin becomes wrinkly after some time in the water? Even after 5 to 10 minutes in the bathtub, you can notice small wrinkles forming on your feet and hands. And this is probably our body's way of getting a grip in slippery conditions. The interesting thing is that our skin wrinkles similarly to the shape of river drainage systems. Although some cat owners hope for different, most of the time, cats don't respond when hearing their name is not because they don't recognize it, but because they don't feel like responding. These foxy creatures mostly do what they prefer at that moment, so they'll stop ignoring you when they think they're supposed to. 
Speaking of our cute purring pets, why do you think many domestic cats have white paws? During the whole process of their domestication, which started about 10,000 years ago, people bred together the tamest moggies to get friendlier animals. And one of the consequences of that is white flashes on paws. Clouds certainly look fluffy and light, but in reality, they're really heavy. The average cumulus cloud, that nice white one you see on a sunny day, has a weight of an incredible 1.1 million pounds. Pluto still hasn't made a complete orbit since it was discovered. And now imagine that it was found back in 1930. It takes about 248 years for Pluto to make a full orbit around the Sun. By the way, Mercury is the fastest. It takes only about 88 days for this planet to make a full trip. However, Pluto will complete its first full orbit since its discovery in 2178. I can't wait. One more fun fact about planets. The dwarf planet Haumea has a very peculiar shape. It looks exactly like a potato. It's about the same size as Pluto and has rings similar to those Saturn has. If you ever want to find it, it's located beyond the orbit of Neptune. Nachos aren't some ancient Mexican food. They were invented less than 100 years ago. Ignacio Anya, nicknamed Nacho, is said to have created this dish in the 1940s. There's a nice story behind nachos. A regular customer got really hungry and asked if Ignacio could bring her and her three friends something different that day. He saw how hungry the ladies were and decided to cook something quick for them. He had to improvise using available ingredients, so he put some tortillas, grated loads of cheese on top of them, and heated the dish from above. To make the dish more savory, he added some jalapeno peppers on top. Mamie Finan, that very regular customer, asked what the name of the unusual snack was. Ignacio didn't think long and said the name was Nacho Special. Oranges aren't necessarily orange. If grown in subtropical regions, the climate isn't cold enough to break down the chlorophyll, so the fruit peel stays yellow or greenish. Such oranges usually get treated with ethylene gas that can help turn the oranges orange. Orange you impressed with that? Okay, it's time for a little riddle for you. What's common between peanut butter and an engagement ring? Both of them contain diamonds! Arr, arr. Scientists have learned how to turn peanut butter into diamonds. They extracted the oxygen from CO2. They got the carbon and then put it under intense pressure. And in the end, they got diamonds. In a GIF, I suppose. Pufferfish, also known as blowfish, are famous for two things. It's clumsy and it can literally turn into a sort of a balloon. Blowing themselves up helps them survive in the wild. They are inedible when swollen. Well, they're not entirely inedible even when they're deflated. Their poison is over a thousand times more toxic than cyanide. Don't count on antidotes, they just don't exist. Or probably, we need more time to find one. Not only can people become knights, but penguins to do that too. There's one living in Edinburgh, and it was granted knighthood back in 2008. Meet Nils Olaf III, the mascot and colonel-in-chief of the Norwegian King's Guard. So, what size of shoes do you wear? I bet it's way smaller than the size the Statue of Liberty wears. No statue needs shoes, but if the Statue of Liberty wanted to grab a pair of new sneakers, she'd need to look for size 879. No surprise here, she's 151 feet tall. These are our muscles that can cause goosebumps. These tiny fan-shaped muscles are called erector pili, and we have them at the base of every hair follicle. Whenever it's cold, they get contracted, which makes our hairs literally stand up, creating goosebumps. You may think you're not an athlete, but if you've ironed your clothes in very uncomfortable locations at least once, you already are. Well, sort of. Extreme ironing is an extreme sport where people take ironing boards to very unexpected places, such as forests, canoes, or mountains, and iron the clothes there. Some do that even on the top of bronze statues or underwater. And yeah, there are even official championships. Haven't these people heard of permanent press? Rap battles aren't something that appeared recently. In medieval England, there was something called flighting, which was very much like contemporary rap battles. It was quite popular in the 15th and 16th centuries, when two opponents mocked each other in an improvised battle. Tongue map says we have different parts for different tastes. Well, not really. 
There are individual taste buds that sense certain flavors more than they do with some others, but it doesn't mean one area can taste sweet better than the other. Studies show that all mouth areas have taste buds sensitive to all tastes. Chameleons don't change colors because they want to match their surroundings. That would probably be a very tiring thing to do. In reality, some other things, like mood, temperature, or the amount of light they get, affect their color. When chameleons relax and stretch cells, crystals that are inside of them are affected by the light. These reptiles use crystals to communicate with each other. So, for example, darker shades show that they're not in such a good mood. It's more like they feel kind of grumpy. Ah, beware the grumpy chameleon. Turkeys can blush, just like people do. It works the same way. They blush when angry, excited, or even feel bad. You can see the skin on their necks and heads turn red. Opossums don't really sleep while hanging by their tails. You see that in cartoons and some photos, but in general, they don't. Their tails are strong, so these animals can grip branches and hold their weight, but only for shorter periods. Adults are really too heavy to stay in this position for too long, so they wouldn't get too much rest. So I could say, hanging by their tail overnight is sort of impossible. You'd need a drop of liquid, a state-of-the-art laser 3D printer, and a couple of hours of work to make the tiniest fidget spinner ever. Its width will be smaller than that of your hair strand. At least researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory managed to do just that. A double-stuffed Oreo cookie aren't double-stuffed, in fact. A math teacher weighed 10 regular Oreos, 10 double-stuffed Oreos, 10 mega-stuffed Oreos. Turns out, double-stuffed Oreos are only 1.86 stuffed Oreos. Chipotle peppers aren't some special type of pepper. They're good old jalapenos. Dried and smoked jalapeno is chipotle. In its gaseous form, oxygen is colorless and doesn't have any odor. But when it's liquid or solid, this substance looks pale blue. After being caught by a black hole, a star gets ripped apart by its enormous gravitational forces. Some parts of the star's remains hurtle into the black hole. The rest, in the form of a huge jet of plasma, is ejected with such force that it travels hundreds of light years away. Not so long ago, scientists decided the Dino's family tree had to be redrawn for the first time in 130 years. Apparently, two species of dinosaurs had to be grouped together from the very beginning. Those were the lizard-hipped meat-eaters like T. rex and bird-hipped vegetarians such as the Stegosaurus. A camel can drink up to 30 gallons of water in a bit more than 10 minutes. This water is stored in the animal's bloodstream. As for its fatty hump, it provides the camel with nourishment when there's little food around. Some sea animals like salmon or turtles use our planet's magnetic field to find their way home. Your lungs not only help you breathe, but they also produce blood cells. These cells are responsible for the clotting which stops bleeding. The lungs make more than 10 million of these tiny cells per hour. Only two letters never appear on the periodic table. Those are J and Q. Spin a ball when you drop it and it'll fly through the air while falling. This phenomenon is known as the Magnus effect. You can see it at work in different sports, for example, tennis or baseball. Anatidaphobia is the fear that at any point, somewhere in the world, a duck or a goose may be watching you. The person isn't necessarily afraid that the duck or goose will get close to them or even touch them. They just don't like the feeling of being watched. It was first described in a comic strip to show you how anyone can be afraid of anything. Anything can be a phobia. A duck just watching my every move would certainly give me the heebie-jeebies. I might just quack up. Your favorite fruit candies may be shining because they're covered with carnauba wax. Many fruits, especially apples, have a thin layer of this wax too. Not only can it make the candies and fruit appear glossy, but it also makes your car shine. Peaches and nectarines seem different, but in fact, they're pretty much the same fruit. If the fluffiness gene is dominant, we get peaches. If not, we get smooth nectarines. Crows are pretty good at recognizing people's faces and have been found to remember people for a long time. 
This could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how nice you are to them. You don't want to come across a crow that's holding a grudge against you. You probably can't tell which crow is which very easily. So it might be better to play it safe and just give them a little wave. In the city of Yoro in Central America, they have an annual event known as the Reign of Fish. Not that the locals get a choice for it anyways. Every year in May or June, a torrential rainstorm rolls through the town, leaving a mass of fish flopping around in the streets. The phenomenon is believed to be caused by water spouts or water tornadoes, which drop the fish far from their home. Seafood delivery for free? Yes, please. A single strand of spaghetti onto your fork has a name. It's called a spaghetto. In the Italian language, an I at the end of a word means that it's plural, while an O is singular. This goes for all types, like gnocco instead of gnocchi, fettuccino instead of fettuccini, and raviolo for a single parcel of goodness. Water can freeze and boil at the same time. This is called the triple point. That's when a substance can be solid, liquid, and gaseous at the same time. But there's only one pressure temperature that can make it possible. We're used to ranch dressing being white, but in reality, producers usually add titanium dioxide to make it as white as your sunscreen. Oh, sunscreen producers add some titanium dioxide to their products too. Same with Caesar and blue cheese dressings. Our moon used to have an atmosphere. Several volcanic eruptions happened on Earth's natural satellite around 4 billion years ago. They released immense volumes of gas, trillions of tons. It was so much that the gas didn't have enough time to escape into space. That's how an atmosphere was formed. Cold water heats up faster than hot. The speed of this process depends on the temperature difference between the liquid and its surroundings. That's why cold water needs less time to absorb heat, but it doesn't mean it'll boil faster than hot water. Zealandia is a drowned continent in the Pacific Ocean. It's often described as a continental fragment or a microcontinent. Its area is almost 2 million square miles, about half as big as the US. It went underwater about 23 million years ago. New Zealand is Zealandia's largest part that remains above sea level. People are still evolving. Scientists have been tracking several millions of human anomalies. It turns out some harmful genes are slowly but surely getting filtered out of human DNA. Stars look as if they're twinkling because of the turbulence in Earth's atmosphere. It makes the light from the stars move in a different direction before reaching our eyes, and this looks as if the light is shaking. It takes water 1,000 years to complete its continuous journey around the world. The whole process is known as the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt. Bismuth is a brittle, shiny white metal with a pink tinge. If you melt it and then let it cool really slowly, it'll form iridescent cubic crystals. Those Skittles and M&M candies are colored with beetles. Red food dye is made of carmine which is made with cochineal beetles. Red lipsticks are made with these beetles too. The rocks, metals, and other minerals and things that make up the planet are packed into the ground more tightly in certain places than in others. This has surprising consequences. Gravity varies slightly depending on where you are. How high up you are also has an effect, so if you're at the top of Mount Everest, you'd also weigh slightly less. Don't look down. One scientist has a theory that a substance existed in ancient microbes before chlorophyll, that's the thing that makes plants green, evolved on Earth. This substance reflected sunlight as red and violet colors, which combined to make purple. If true, the young Earth may have been teeming with strange purple-colored critters before all the green stuff appeared. Apples taste better when they're sliced because they're exposed to oxygen. It activates the enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, responsible for ripening and visible browning. The same thing happens when you hit an apple. The oxygen enters the apple through tiny cracks and it starts to ripen. Are you into white chocolate? Well, it's actually not even close to real chocolate. 
It's basically a mixture of sugar, milk, vanilla, and cocoa butter. Cocoa butter isn't enough for chocolate. It should contain chocolate liquor or powder. The only product that never expires even if you don't store it in the fridge is honey. It has a low pH and lots of sugar. That's why organisms that cause spoiling can't live in honey. If two pieces of the same kind of metal touch in space, they bond and get stuck together. It doesn't happen on Earth because water and air keeps pieces apart. People are more honest when they're tired. That's why most confessions are made during late-night conversations. Firefighters usually extinguish flames with wet water. It's water mixed with special wetting agents. These are chemicals that help water soak into objects and spread everywhere more easily. The sun is an average-sized star, and still it could fit 1,300,000 Earths. The star is also 333,000 times as heavy as our planet. People have been able to spell their emails in Morse code since 2004. That's when a new symbol, at, was added to the code for the first time. The character is actually called a comet and consists of the A and C signals with no break in between. You find yourself at a food fair in Iceland when you see it for the first time. Volcano bread. You eat a slice and oddly enough, it actually tastes good. Unsure of how this works, you check out mm -hmm. the baking process. Hmm. Is this kitchen really strange looking or is it just me? The baking spot is in nature, specifically in a hot springs field. You better watch your steps so you don't get burned by the hot vapor jolting from the ground. Now, a local baker shares their traditional rye bread recipe with you. Rye flour, check. Yeast, check. You mix it all together and pour it into a metal pot. Next on the list is digging the hole where you'll place the pot to bake. You dig for about 16 inches until you can see the water bubbling from the ground. If you want to do it like a local, you'll use your finger to check the water temperature. Yikes! That's hot! Actually, the ground is heated by lava. Iceland is one of the most volcanic regions in the world, with over 30 active volcanoes at any one time. After you bury the bread in volcanic soil, you leave it there and wait 24 hours until it's ready. The next day, the bread is fully baked and super tasty. Ah, and the best part is, you just participated in an ancient Icelandic tradition. People have been doing this since at least the 1800s. Imagine it's your first day of work in a museum, and your assigned task is to clean the mask of Tutankhamun. You grab your cleaning utensils and then, oh no, this can't be happening. You just broke Tutankhamun's beard. I never wish this to happen to anyone, but this is actually a true story. Back in 2014, an employee at the Egyptian Museum knocked off the beard of Tutankhamun's mask and glued it back on, hoping no one would notice. This mask was discovered in 1922 and is considered one of the 10 symbols of our human civilization. Oh, and the best part of this story? It took historians until 2016 to discover the poor glue job. So, if you visited the museum between 2004 and 2016, maybe you saw the glued beard. If I say Sahara, what comes to mind? An infinite desert landscape, right? Well, according to scientists, the Sahara isn't always a desert. From time to time, it becomes green. But you probably won't be seeing this in your lifetime. Every 10,000 years, the Sahara lives through a humid period where the sand gives way to lush green vegetation and sparkling lakes. This happens due to a tilt in the Earth's axis, which affects different weather patterns around the globe. Can you imagine the Sphinx surrounded by rainforest? It's mind-blowing! And speaking of the Sahara, say you traveled back to 1800 BCE. If you timed it right, you might get to see the construction of the so-called Black Pyramid in the city of Dashur. These are not the famous Giza pyramids, but they serve the similar purpose of being a final resting place. In 1892, archaeologists excavating the area found an important part of the Black Pyramid that was lost for centuries. The Benben, also called a Pyramidian, was the tip of ancient Egyptian pyramids. A Benben consists of a solid block, usually made of limestone, 
most of them were covered with gold and reflected the first rays of light from the sun every day. Hmm, can anyone get me a time machine, please? Remember when you ate something really spicy, your cheeks turned red? Apparently, that can happen to birds, too. For example, canaries can change colors after eating peppers. These birds have a special pigment that allows them to switch shades depending on their diet. So, if a yellow canary eats red peppers, it can turn orange or red. Can rocks move on the ground on their own? Well, you might be under that impression if you visit Racetrack Playa in California. The site is a dry lake bed and home to one of the world's strangest phenomena, the so-called sailing stones. Think 100-pound rocks moving around alone, leaving behind trails as long as 1,500 feet. They were discovered in the 1900s, and until recently, no one was lucky enough to be on the site while they were moving. It was only in 2014, after much observation and research, that scientists solved this mystery. The sailing stones appeared because of the perfect balance between wind, ice, and water. When it rains, the water that falls on the ground freezes and forms a coat of ice above the ground. If it's windy, the rocks are easily pushed around, sailing along the lake bed. But hey, if you ever visit Racetrack Playa, don't disturb the rocks. On the western coast of France, you'll find the vacation hotspot known as the Island of Ray. It attracts tourists looking for scenic landscapes and beautiful beaches, but that's not all it's famous for. There, an extraordinary phenomenon occurs when two different wave patterns collide with each other, something called a cross sea. It's almost as if the sea were a checkerboard divided into hundreds of squares. And no, it's not an optical illusion. A cross sea only happens in places where different quality waters meet. For a tourist to see the cross sea in Ray, this probably means that there was a storm in a different sea nearby. This stormy water travels with the help of currents and meets the water of Ray, creating these oddly shaped riptides. Oh, and apart from this island and Israel, there's nowhere else in the world where you could see such a thing. The following site will either give you goosebumps or make you marvel at its weirdness. I'd say it depends on the time of day you visit. Next to the small town of Grifina in Poland, you'll find a very unusual site a pine tree forest where each tree is bent at its base. If you visit during the daytime, I guess you'll be fascinated by these trees' sharp 90-degree curves. You can even use their trunks as a stool if you decide to have a picnic, for example. But visiting the site at night will most likely give you chills. A thin layer of fog hovers around, making the forest seem quite unwelcoming. Scientists still can't explain why the trees are the way they are. So, are you a daytime or nighttime visitor? You went for a hike and suddenly encountered a big cloud of fog. This may ruin your photo ops, but there's one thing you can hope for. Foggy days are the perfect conditions for a phenomenon called fog bow, otherwise known as a white rainbow. This happens because of numerous tiny water droplets that cause fog, smaller than 0.002 inches. So, instead of the multicolored bow, you get a transparent one, with red outer edges and a bluish inner edge. Now, say you're roaming in a little town in Europe, appreciating the century-old buildings and good summer weather. You feel hungry and decide to type into your Google Maps the name of that restaurant your friend recommended. Ah, it's only 10 minutes away by foot. You follow the blue dot on your GPS and arrive at your destination, quick and easy. We all love this free piece of technology, don't we? But what if I told you that the US spends over $2 million daily to maintain the satellites to make it work? Yep, that's the price. And to implement it, they spent over 12 billion US dollars. Have you ever heard of something called a natural snowball? This could be proof that nature is really perfect. In 2016, the beaches of the Gulf of Ob in northwest Siberia were filled with rows of giant snowballs. Think balls measuring up to three feet across. This rare yet beautiful natural phenomenon happens when small pieces of ice are rolled by strong winds and water. The further they roll, the more ice they gather and the more that ice is polished. They end up as giant, perfectly shaped snowballs. They look pretty amazing on their own. 
but it's quite a sight when hundreds of them are together. You ever wondered why potato chips have those yummy, crunchy waves? Hmm. Imagine you're with friends watching a film and you're eating chips. Would you prefer to dip non-ruffled chips or a ruffled one? Non-ruffled ones cannot handle the weight of the sauce and break down. Bam! You have sauce all over your white t-shirt. So, ruffled chips win. Ruffled chips also give you a better mouthfeel. Potato chips have a prominent oil taste, which decreases the potato taste. And you might have fingers oil covered. Where's the fun in that? So, what do you prefer, ridges or regular potato chips? Barcodes made our lives so much easier. But do you know how they work? Zebra lines are the keys here. Barcodes are read using a scanner. The scanner has a laser that detects the pattern. The laser reads the barcode. The barcode absorbs some light and the rest is reflected. The computer can make sense of those dots, lines, and numbers on a barcode. Imagine black and white lines as zeros and ones. Black observes the light and white reflects it. This rule applies here. Black parts of the ones and white parts that reflect the lights are zeros. The scanner sees the white sections, not the black parts. Post-its are our friendly reminders to visit the dentist or a scheduled meeting. Be sure to hang them on the wall firmly. We've been using post-it notes wrong this whole time. You're not supposed to peel it off from the bottom because this creates a crease in the paper. The note won't hold on to the surface for long. Take it off from the side. It'll stick more powerfully. Cloud-like and sweet. The one and only cotton candy. It's irresistible, especially for young people. Too much sugar is bad for the teeth. Everyone's heard this phrase from their dentist. Surprise, the inventor of cotton candy is a dentist. So, cotton candy was invented in 1895 by John C. Wharton, a candy maker, and William Morrison, a dentist. They named their product Fairy Floss. It's a cool name, by the way. They sold thousands of cotton candy at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. Cotton candy is still with us, showing up in amusement parks and dentists still care for people with tooth decay. Some things never change. Do you love a lollipop? Why are there tiny holes in it? Those two holes in a lollipop stick may be used as a simple whistle. But they're there to hold the candy in place. The stick is dipped in the liquid syrup. It flows into the holes, solidifies, and surrounds the stick. A life-changing invention is a refrigerator, but not everybody knows it has a dark story behind its door. The Refrigerator Safety Act was launched in August 1956 to prevent young people from being trapped inside a household refrigerator. The refrigerators used to have an external latch that would shut the refrigerator door when it was not in use. It can only be opened from the outside. You can relax. After this regulation, household refrigerators were manufactured to be opened from the inside. Moving on from the kitchen to the bathroom. Using the toilet while scrolling down the Instagram feed is taken for granted. Guess what? More people in the world have phones than toilets. According to a UN report, billions of people lack access to a toilet, especially areas in South Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. The number of mobile phone owners outnumber those with proper plumbing and sanitized toilets. Also, scientists have found that cell phones carry 10 times more bacteria than most toilet seats. So yeah, you might want to sanitize your phone after watching this video. Do you use FaceTime or Skype to talk to each other worldwide? It could be for a chat, a meeting, or something else. The webcam technology was born with a very reasonable goal, though. In 1993, researchers at the Computer Science Department at the University of Cambridge set up a system to see if the coffee pot was empty or not. Yes, you heard it right. Researchers needed coffee to fuel their brains, as many of us do. They get up from their chairs, go to the coffee pot, and find it empty. Instead of making sure that someone makes a fresh coffee, they wired up a system. The system would stream the images of the room where the coffee pot was kept. At that time, it was three pictures taken per minute. It's more than enough to see if the pot has coffee in it or not. Thanks to the researchers for not getting up from their chairs. And for another tiny thing, 
coming up with this brilliant idea. Do you buy white eggs or brown eggs? What's the difference besides the color? Since brown eggs tend to cost you more, you might think that something in them makes the prices a bit higher. Nope, the color of the eggshell doesn't affect its nutrition or quality. Both eggs are healthy. Brown eggs cost more because the hens that lay them need more feed. It's more pricey to raise them than the white egg hens. The cost is reflected onto the consumer. There is a hole at the handle of some kitchen pots and pans. We mostly use this hole to place the kitchen utensil vertically on a cabinet door. They have a secondary use. Imagine you're cooking multiple dishes to make a feast for the family. The kitchen counter is full of stuff. You have a hard time finding a place for the gravy sauce spoon. You can place the spoon in the hole on the edge of the saucepan handle. It will stay there safely until you decide to stir the sauce again. Not every spoon fits into the hole. It might easily slide to the floor. Better to have a test run where the spoon is clean. Imagine you have a takeaway of noodles with an extra topping on your way home. You recently moved and all the plates are in the boxes. You struggle with this noodle box. The toppings are stuck at the bottom. The sauce didn't mix evenly either. We've missed out on an easier way to eat from the takeout boxes. They can be flat and serve as plates. You take the edges of the paper out and open it up. There you go. Now you have a plate. The best part is you don't have to clean it up afterwards. Did you know that a tomato is not a veggie, but a fruit? So is an avocado. Watermelon is actually a berry. There's more to that. Peanuts are not in the nuts family. They're different from almonds and cashews. Peanuts grow pods under the soil. They're harvested like potatoes. Their upper parts are like bushes. These tasty ciders are not classified as nuts since they grow under the ground, not on a tree. They get pulled up from the soil like carrots. Next time you eat peanuts in a friend circle, you can mention this new fact you heard. Or it can be an icebreaker when you see someone eating peanuts. Classifying food as fruit or a vegetable is a tricky business. Do you know who invented t-shirts? In 1904, the Cooper Underwear Company prepared an ad and introduced its new product with before and after photos. It was referred to as an undershirt. The slogan was, no safety pins, no buttons, no needle, no thread. As the name revealed, they were worn under the clothes. One day, it was announced that sailors should wear undershirts with no buttons under their uniforms. T-shirt love spread like pollen at a park on a spring day. Soon, thousands of men started wearing them. Though T-shirts go back to the 19th century, now we have all adjusted to the comfort of our cozy T-shirts. Do you also wear T-shirts like the sailors? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.